Welcome to our house. It's a house that my husband and I built about nine years ago. It's a modern interpretation of a traditional Danish allotment hut. It's a tradition you have in Denmark where you have a small garden inside the city perimeter where you have a little house in the garden. Originally it was a place for people living in, um, in apartments, being able to come out and get some sun and air and uh, grow some vegetables. The house is uh, 22 square meters, so that's really not, not a, a lot. We were allowed to build about 50 square meters, but we didn't want to do that because we wanted it to be a small house and uh, just be a part of the garden and not like the main feature of the garden. Let's check it out. This is the part of the kitchen that's uh, outside. Here we have uh, this uh, gas burner and we have uh, all the pots and pans conveniently at hand. Underneath we have yeah, space for different... Yeah, there's a lot of mess in there. <laughs> but it's nice to have uh, a place to put things. We also have uh, the propane tank and the, the possibility to get some electricity in the garden if we were cutting the, the hitch or things like that. We spend a lot of time cooking. Uh, that's uh, one of our main hobbies, you could say. As you can see also, the way the kitchen extends to the inside as well. There's, for a house of this size, there's quite a lot of kitchen. And of course, uh, yeah, we like cooking from uh, things that we have grown in the garden. The first years before we had our children, our garden was really looking awesome with uh, lots of vegetables and uh, yeah, fruits and berries and things. But uh, after we had the children, it's like the time has become a little bit short. So now it's not really looking that good anymore. But uh, still we can grow potatoes and corn and we have raspberries and strawberries and salad and peas and lots of nice things. But mostly the things that are nice for just picking and eating right away because the children just love that. In this part of the house, the ceiling is made from these uh, more sticks, you could say. And uh, above that, there's a translucent uh, plastic roof. So of course you don't get the rain in here, but still you get some light through. In the summer, it's really nice because you could sit in a uh, kind of semi-shade when you're sitting here on the terrace. Above these, uh, we have added some uh, electrical lights as well. I don't know if you can see them anywhere. There's one right there. At night, we can turn that lights on, the lights on here, and you get this nice warm light. This part in here is uh, where you are actually inside the house, and you can of course close off and uh, keep warm and things like that. And this is the, the room where we have the kitchen and uh, the dining space as well. And it's only uh, nine square meters, but when you open this uh, folding door, as we, we just did, it actually extends to until being uh, like double the size. There's room enough for the four people of us. Uh, eating here if uh, if the weather is bad and yeah we want to keep warm. Then we have this part of the kitchen that is the part that's uh, inside the house. There's a lot of yeah storage for things that we need when we live here. But we chose the open storage because um, it seemed more light. If we had to put traditional kitchen cupboards up here, I think it would seem too heavy. And then also because we added this uh, detail with one of them actually being a window. This is the, the morning sun window where the sun actually comes in and you can sit with the sun in your neck when you eat your breakfast. And that's really nice. So I think that's a, a neat detail that it's the same boxes, different sizes, and one of them is a window. Three drawers, it's just the standard kitchen from IKEA. In here we have all the plates. Uh, we inherited this uh, set of plates from my husband's grandmother. For her, this used to be the really uh, fancy plates that only came out of the, the cupboard when she had uh, important visitors, but um, now it's just everyday use. She would probably roll in her grave if she knew, but. <laughs> and here we have. Um, Things for doing the dishes and uh, recycling and yeah, things like that. Down here we have everything in plastic and metal. And then we have uh, just a small fridge. And finally we have this uh, very small cupboard where there's uh, just room for, for the drying rack and some, uh, some chopping boards and other narrow things. In the dining area we can uh, extend this table so we can fit more people than the usual four. The 
table is, is like this, we can fit six or eight people here, and then if we're more people than that, we can uh, add this one as well. Looks a little bit odd, but it works. This is uh, the entrance area. Um, this is the only uh, door that locks from the outside, so when you enter you have to open that one and then you can open up the rest of the house from the inside. There's uh, a space for coats and hats, of course, and uh, also some room for uh, shoes on the, on the wall to uh, get things away from the floor. These uh, hangers for clothes are a little uh, do-it-yourself pro project we made this summer with the kids, where they uh, yeah, carved them from some sticks that we found in the garden. Behind this uh, door we have the most private part of the house. This is where we have the, the bedroom and uh, behind that uh, bathroom. It's nice to be able to close off if, if the kids uh, has gone to, to bed earlier than we do and then we can yeah, close it off so they don't get waking up. When we started building the house we didn't have any children yet, in a way, of course, we knew that we would probably have some at some point. But we didn't really uh, design the house for a whole family, but more for just the two of us. So then when we had the children and uh, they uh, didn't sleep in a crib anymore, we had to, uh, to find a way to fit uh, all four of us in this uh, room of just uh, nine square meters. So we did that by uh, making this bunk bed which is, of course, also built by ourselves. It's built around two stand-up uh, dressers from IKEA. You might be able to see it's a little bit more narrow. In, it's more narrow in this end than it is in the other, because here we had to obviously fit it behind the, the door to make sure that we didn't uh, make it uh, better for one of the kids than for the other. This bed is uh, lower than the other one, so the, the space up here is higher. So here you have a narrow uh, space with a, with a high ceiling and uh, up here you have a more wide space with a, a low ceiling. So that's good things about this place and there's good things about this place. The kids really love it there. It's like they have, the, they have their own room and there's also some, yeah, some storage for uh, some of, of their things. As you can see it's, uh, it's designed like a tree. So it's, uh, it's actually two tree houses in one tree. So there's a, there's a ladder on the, on the trunk and then um, we make these birds houses and birds yeah, to make sure that they, they don't fall out of the bed. Uh, but instead of just a, adding a, just a stick there, we wanted to make it more part of the design. And then you can see over here and behind here there's uh, some shelves for some of our stuff. It's nice having, um, having the kids as close as we have them here. But I think it might be because we are only here in the summer. So if it was year round, I, it would probably be a little bit cramped. Here we have uh, these eight drawers. So uh, each of the four of us has uh, one drawer for clothes. And then the last four for the kids' toys. And uh, here we have a more or less hidden closet. It lasted, I don't know, two years or so before my dad noticed that there was actually a closet here. So, <laughs> good job. <laughs> yeah. There's a uh, room for some cleaning stuff and uh, things. And then there's also the, the technical installations. And in here we have the, the bathroom. And quite small as well. But there's a toilet and the wash basin and then there's a, a bath in here or a shower. So there is really everything that we need. Is it a full size shower? Like regular size? Yeah, I think it's uh, 80 by 80 centimeters. Yeah. There's a, a nice detail, I think, that. Uh, as you move into the house, in the same way as it gets more and more, more private, um, the windows also get uh, smaller and smaller. So out here in, in the dining area you have these really big windows and yeah, of course you can see everything out, but people outside can also see everything in. And then uh, as you move into to the bedroom it's uh, just a regular window and then the, the window in the bathroom is just a tiny one. But it lets in light and then that's enough. The 
whole house is uh, entirely self-built uh, by the two of us, my, myself and my husband. So for us it has uh, in a way been a really nice uh, hands-on experience of how to build a house and not just draw it as we usually do. All the challenges that came up during the, the build, like details and yeah, design, uh, things here and there were, were solved on site as we built it. We made a lot of small sketches and uh, pieces of wood and things like that and uh, it caused quite a bit of laugh from some of our neighbours. They said that it uh, must be the allotment hut in, uh, in Aarhus that has been uh, made the most drawings for. <laughs> so I really like designing small spaces because uh, you have to consider every square metre how you use it. Yeah, there's really no uh, leftover space here at all. So that's a nice challenge to get. Having a, a place like this, it's kind of a retreat. We move out here when it's uh, summer and if it's a weekend and it's nice weather. And you can really feel how uh, all four of us are just uh, relaxing much more when we are in this place because there's not so many things and there's not so many uh, boring duties and things that we have to take take care of so even if you want to to clean the place it's uh, done in 10 minutes approximately so I think that's uh, really nice thank you so much for checking out the video with us this week I really hope you enjoyed checking out Karen and Peter's house I loved it I love the modern feel of it and I love how small it is and I am particularly fascinated by the fact that they could have built it double the size but they chose not to to keep the garden which is awesome could you ever live that small I don't know if I could. Give it a thumbs up if you liked the video. Head on over to Karen's website. I'll leave the links down in the description. Hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in, an, in a week. Bye!